So let's have a quick look on a comparison of a few roles, popular roles in the on-premises environment and how this role will look like in a cloud computing environment, right? Let's start with that, okay? And then here, I want you, you to pay attention. And of course, um, you know, there are so many roles in the IT industry right now. I will not show every single role in here because I would need to have, you know, like so many slides to show all of that. But I'm going to share with you uh, the idea and then you can model that to your role as well. You can start thinking, hey, how my role, how, uh, uh, you know, the thing that I do today on the on-premise environment would look like in the cloud computer environment, right? So let's start uh, by having a quick look on those roles. Let's start first with uh, one of the most popular roles, which is the, you know, the IT professionals that work on the infrastructure engineering and the network engineer on the on-premise environment, right? So this role on the on-premise environment, if you work as an infrastructure engineer, so probably you are working today, um, you know, managing the infrastructure of your company, which are maybe you are managing the systems, the servers, the storage appliances, you know, the networking switches and networking routers, everything is running inside of your company's data center, right? So that's your role as an infrastructure or network engineer, or even as a system administrator, most of the times working for on-premises on technologies, right? But when it comes to the cloud, your role is gonna evolve, okay? And then it doesn't mean that you're not going to use whatever you know from the on-premise environment in the cloud, because, you know, the foundation is going to be in place, right? So a IP in our premise environment is gonna be a IP on the cloud environment, okay? Linux operating system running on the on-premise environment is gonna be Linux operating system running in the cloud. But there are a few things that are gonna change, right? So the evolution of a infrastructure engineering role um, in the on-premise environment when it comes to uh, projecting that to the cloud computing environment would be roles like cloud infrastructure engineer, site, re site uh, reliability engineer, and a few others, right, that can be uh, found on the companies right now. And then what's going to be your role uh, or your job description, let's put on that way, when you work on those kind of job positions, right? So, well, very simple. Think about that. You're going to be responsible for managing the infrastructure of your company, but not inside of your company's data center anymore. You're going to be doing it um, on the cloud providers, right? On the resources running on the cloud providers that your company are going to be hosting them. And there are a few differences in here, right? Because when it, when it comes to the cloud providers, um, you're not going to be managing the hardware anymore. You're not going to be uh, responsible for switching or swapping disks, right? So few things are going to be now uh, responsibility of the cloud provider, right? So that's, uh, you know, that's the evolution of the infrastructure engineering role, for example, right? In a very, very quick ways that you can understand. So what is required for you then to move from this role to this role? Well, you need to develop, you know, the, the skill sets that the market are looking for. You need to have a very good, you know, knowledge of the cloud providers, services that are aligned to your role. You should understand very well automation tools uh, to help you to automate your work, like, you know, tools like Terraform, Ansible. You should understand how the cloud native architectures work uh, in the cloud space, you know, working in technologies like Kubernetes, Docker, how we can help you know, the development team troubleshoot an issue inside of a Kubernetes cluster, for example, right? Not inside of a virtual machine anymore, uh, inside of your data center. Of course, you could have virtual machines in the cloud as well, but, you know, those things are going to help you to do your transition, right? And then looking at other roles as well, database administrator. So what would be the natural transition for or the natural evolution for this role? It's going to be a cloud database administrator, okay? So you today probably as a database administrator, 
you're managing your data bases running on your data centers, right? On your company's data centers. Now, when it comes to the cloud, you're going to be managing and, you know, uh, maintaining those databases running on the cloud computing providers. And then in order for you to do that, you need to, again, have all those foundational knowledge on cloud computing, understanding how the cloud providers would work, understanding how the cloud services on the database layer would work so that you can manage your databases in a proper way, all of this kind of stuff, right? And then we look at the other roles like security architecture, security engineer, right? Uh, usually this uh, role is responsible for maintaining the security inside of the on-premises environment. So when it comes to the cloud, you're still going to do the same thing, but you're going to make sure that the cloud environments are running safe, right? You're going to make sure that uh, your cloud environments do not have uh, exposed ports to the internet, for example, that all the fire rules are in place uh, with the compliance in place and all of that. You're making sure that your environment is safe and running well in the cloud, following the secure best practices, okay? And believe you or not, Cloud security is a very, very hot topic nowadays uh, in the cloud computing industry. And the reason for that is because it is very easy to make a cloud mistake when it comes to security, right? A cloud security mistake if you don't know what you're doing. So because of that, the companies are investing heavily on cloud security because think about that. If you open an environment, let's say you leave the 22 port open um, of a you know, database virtual machine running in a cloud provider and, you know, some some sort of hacker tries to brute force your virtual machine and, you know, get access to your virtual machine, they can steal data from your, um, you know, company's database, right? Which is uh, a big topic. So this role is very special because you're going to be responsible for maintaining the security on the cloud environments, right? Creating best practices, creating the security culture, right? Usually uh, being a person inside of a DevSecOps organization, right? So all of this kind of stuff. And then not only that, maybe you're a software developer today working on the on-premise environment. You develop applications that run inside of your company's data center, right? Maybe you're um, a software developer that, you know, creates web applications and those web applications, you know, they run uh, in on-premise environment. And then the evolution of this role is going to be the cloud software developer, or, you know, it's also known as a cloud developer, right? So many companies are looking for software developers that would have the good foundation, the good cloud computing foundation to create more cloud native roles, right? Uh, to create more cloud native applications actually, right? So those cloud developers, they're going to be able to help the companies to um, basically create and develop those applications using cloud native services. You know, things like uh, creating applications more natively, right? By uh, creating applications that can run on top of serverless technologies that can run on top of containers, all of this kind of stuff are going to be part of the cloud software developer going forward, right? And then you see here that there is a transition, right? There is an evolution happening here. So in order for you to take those uh, roles in the cloud space, you're going to uh, have, you know, naturally this skill set in here on, the, on your on-premise environment that you have worked so that you can help the companies to, to transition from this side to this side, right? So that's that's something that you should keep in mind, right? Few more roles in here to wrap up because again, I'm not going to put every single role in here, but the you know I would see I would say the uh, least technical ones like project manager, right? So a project manager in the on-premise environment has a very special role as well, right? For you know managing the projects, making sure that the you know the IT technical teams are you know meeting the timelines and all of that, and you could. You know, evolve. Uh, you could transition your role as well. You could evolve your role as well to the cloud computing space by, 
you know, looking at roles like cloud program manager, cloud technical account manager, right? All those roles are actually evolution are a on-premises project manager role because you're going to be responsible usually on these roles for managing programs and projects that are related to cloud technologies, right? And in order for you to get in there, you should again have the very, very solid and good cloud foundation knowledge, okay? And then on those cases, you wouldn't really need to be a lot of hands-on exposure, but you should understand how the cloud ecosystem would work at the end of the day, right? And then a few other positions like customer success, maybe you work as a uh, in a position working as a customer success engineer, uh, helping the customers to you know use the technical solutions in a better way, right? And then in the cloud, you have a lot of cloud success, uh, cloud customer success roles as well that you can uh, you know apply for and help helping customers to use the cloud services and cloud technologies in a, in a better way as well, right? So, and again, you should have a good cloud computing foundation for taking those roles as well. Product manager, again, you could uh, work with, uh, you know, product, but not now related to on-premises technologies, but you could work as a cloud product manager, uh, helping the companies to, you know, create and deliver prod products that are related to cloud computing technologies. Okay. And finally, IT architect, right? So if you are a IT architect working with on-premises technology, you could evolve your role to a cloud solutions architect uh, by helping the companies to uh, making sure that they can create highly scalable architectures uh, that will run in the cloud space, right? In the cloud environment. So those are just a few roles that I brought to you so that you can see that this is a natural evolution, right? Uh, all those roles in here are naturally going to evolve. And then, again, just to recap, what you should do is you should start uh, learning um, the cloud fundamentals, the foundation of the most of the major cloud providers, right? So like AWS, Microsoft Azure, Google Cloud, and other cloud infrastructure, right? And not only that, you should um, start also looking at how the DevOps technologies would work, right? So how a given DevOps technology would be applicable to your role, right? So as I gave you, as I, as I gave you in the previous example on the cloud infrastructure engineering role, you should have, you know, very good automation skills like Terraform, uh, knowing how to use Terraform to create infrastructure in an automated way in a cloud providers. All those things are going to help you to succeed on your role, right? So you should start doing this. And then once you have a good understanding of this, then you should consider start doing hands-on, okay? getting hands-on expertise, hands-on experience, so that uh, you can feel confident uh, when you're in the interviews, right? And then somebody asks you, hey, have you ever did something on AWS, right? Have you ever implemented some sort of solution on Microsoft Azure? And then you can say, yes, I have done X, Y, Z. And then how you can do it, right? So basically, uh, there are so many ways. Um, you know, I gave some examples in here in a previous slide, you can go, to the uh, website of the cloud provider and look at the reference architectures and you know common projects that are getting delivered by the companies and try to experiment on that. Or you can enjoy some sort of bootcamp, right? So like in our case, we have a multi cloud bootcamp and during the multi cloud bootcamp, you're going to be able to implement 30 plus cloud projects, hands-on projects based in real world scenarios that you can get the hands-on expertise that you need, right? To succeed in the interviews, um, you know, having the confidence that you need and all of that, right?